this may be a cabriolet, but if you take a very close look, you'll see that it's got the wide bodywork. It's kind of like the C4S or the Porsche Turbo. The reason for all of this is because it is a Porsche Turbo. Now, you may get away with calling this a chick car among your buddies, but take it to the racetrack and this thing is gonna kick your butt. But before we get to the racetrack, let's talk about this Porsche in the context of a street car. Naturally, PSM is a part of the equation. Naturally, air conditioning, a great sound system, and of course, the great turbo Porsche engine. Now, Rick Bai, who's been a friend of Dream Car Garages for since the very beginning, has always provided us with Porsches to drive. Now, naturally, Bai is enthusiastic about the cars that he brings us to drive but I've never seen him more enthusiastic about this turbo cabriolet. On a visit to Toronto Motorsports Park, Rick brought this car as we are testing some bona fide performance cars. Well, when he got there, he disappointed everybody. Now, the very fact that this car could out-accelerate just about everything else at the track was only part of the story. The fact is, it could out-break everything at the track pull more lateral G than everything else at the track and create more stairs than anything else that we had at the track. Now, when Rick drives a car, you know he's going to be very demanding about the performance. So he never really let up on the cabriolet all day. It remained composed, it remained sure-footed, and it certainly blew everybody else's doors away. Now, you gotta ask yourself, even as we're in the rain in my bald paint is in danger of getting wet, do you need a car like this? Well, do you need a hair transplant? Do you need a three-car garage? No, you don't need a car like this. But do you want a car like this? Well, if you already love Porsches, this may be the ultimate way to be seen around town in a Porsche.